Hey Pfingsters and welcome to this video where I want to show you real quick the ternary operator in Python. So the, so what is the ternary operator? Um, the ternary operator is uh, structured like this. So you have um, some, some expression x if some condition c else some expression y. So this is the overall structure of the ternary operator. So um, the, ternary, ten, the, the term ternary operator comes from uh, Latin ternarius, uh, which is an adjective meaning composed of three terms. So uh, literally it means, the ternary operator means that it, it is composed of three operands. And these are the three operands. So we have uh, three operands, x, c, and y. And um, basically the meaning is that um, it returns x if the expression c evaluates to the Boolean value true Otherwise, if it evaluates to the Boolean value false, it returns y. So you can use it, for example, to uh, to assign it to a um, value. Say, um, say, say you have another variable called var, and you assign. Now the expression could be, for example, high, if um, three is larger than two, else you assign the um, variable name by. Okay, so this is this is what you can do, for example, with the ternary operator. So you assign uh, the string high to the variable var if three is larger than two, which is the case. So you will assign high to the variable here. Otherwise, you would assign by. And so let's print. This is a dummy example, I know, but uh, it's the first that came to my mind. Um, so let's refresh the share. Hi. Okay, so it returns hi. And if we um, say switch the expression so three is smaller than two which is false then it will return by so and this is this is a very important piece of knowledge you, you need to know because it because more advanced functions and more advanced um, statements like list comprehension also will make use of the ternary operator so there are many many more advanced examples that use the ternary operator basically and uh, so for example another example is we have um, like h input your age so this this python script will now ask us our page uh, our age and now we print vtf if age is smaller than 20 else what <laughs> okay so what what happens now let's execute this statement and maybe we can put everything into a true loop uh, into a, a loop okay so let's execute this. Now we type in your age. Say I type in 18. Okay, so we need to convert uh, the age, of course, the age value. Okay, so now we put everything here. Now we say 17. Uh, 17. <laughs> it um, prints uh, WTF. And now if we, um, uh, if we have 20, then it prints what? Okay, so if you are an older person, then it will communicate like this. Otherwise, it will communicate a bit more um, uh, with a bit more like slang language. Okay, so so this is kind of, it allows us to conditionally assign or conditionally return a value. We can also do some some pretty interesting one-liners with this. For example, we, we can um, uh, even execute a function, like we can do print um, hi if say three is larger than two, for example, some condition, um, else say we print, um, yeah, again, so hello, for example. So now you see that that here, basically now this one, the semantically it means return the result of executing the function print high, if three is larger than two, which is the case, otherwise uh, return the result of this. But the, re the result is not even, stored anywhere and there is no result the print function doesn't return any value so the result would be none so but the value none will just be thrown away but this allows us in one line to have basically uh, any conditional execution not only uh, storing the return value in a variable or using the return value anyway but we can actually execute any function conditionally by using the ternary operator so this is this is uh, like an, um, a more advanced example so let's refresh the shell and execute this now you see it, it prints high yeah because three is larger than two okay so this is 
um, the ternary operator and there this is like the most basic form of the ternary operator but then I have um, like a, a special trick a, ternary, uh, a Python ternary um, tuple hack it's called the tuple syntax hack so this is how how, how we can make it even more concise how we can make the one the one liner even more uh, the uh, the python um ternary operator even more concise so let's let's say we have this example with the ternary operator this one we have h17 now we print uh, wtf if h is smaller than 20 so we need to convert it to an integer here um before we we can do this so we check Ah, it's, it's already an integer, so we don't need to convert, basically. Um, okay, so this is a basic ternary operator, but now we can also write this in a more short, shorter form um, using a tuple notation. So now we have a tuple, and we have two tuple values. We have, the first one is what? The second one is WTF. Okay, so now this is, a, this is just a normal tuple, so we create a normal tuple, and now we use indexing to access a value of this tuple. And so, say if we execute, if we uh, use indexing zero, then we would access the first element. If we use indexing one, we would access the second element, right? So now, instead of putting zero or one there, we put a boolean expression there into in in the indexing scheme. So now we can, for example, have the boolean expression h is smaller than twenty, and um, now this is a boolean expression that returns either true or false. So the return value will be a true value or a false. But now you have to know that in Python, the boolean values are represented with integers. So the boolean value true is like internally converted to an integer value one. And um, the boolean value false is internally converted to an integer value of zero. So we have either the result true or false. Um, so we can see this here in our, in our ternary uh, syntax hack let's make it like this and get rid of my face so now you now we can see it here so we have x y and the condition and this is like uh, basic indexing tuple indexing and now we can have either result false or true for the condition and now the false value will automatically represent by integer zero so if if we apply if you if we put it into as an input for our indexing scheme and our boolean value true will, will be uh, will, will be converted to a one so therefore if the condition is true we will return the second tuple value if the condition is false we will return the first tuple value so this is a smart little trick that allows us to to um, simulate the behavior of the ternary operator like this so this makes the ternary operator really um, basically yeah, really uh, um, nice to handle really uh, concise notation and you can do some advanced express you can put some ex advanced expressions here into the condition and this allows you to basically conditionally um, return the either of the branches so let's execute this and you see that both lead to the same output so if you have if we set h to say 20 now the condition is false and we have both evaluate to to the what value but now you have to see that the, using this tuple notation the uh, condition that evalu evaluates to false will be the f index zero we get the index zero so therefore we need to put the fa false condition first and only then we um, <coughs> add the true condition there okay it's a nice little trick um, I think it's helpful uh, just to know this trick and then of course you can also do some some uh, more advanced magic um, for example you can have a dictionary instead of a tuple and now in the dictionary you can assign the value true to the string what and you can assign the value false to the string wtf and now if you print this now we actually reverse the behavior um, so now we get the reverse output here okay so if you have h17 then we get the reverse again and um, so why is that? Again, we have um, we first create a dictionary that maps the true and the false value to it, and then we pass a boolean value um, into the dictionary, into the, into the indexing uh, scheme of the dictionary. So we so we access, we retrieve the element with either true or false boolean value from the dictionary. So and this is like either it is what or it is wtf. So this basically gives us exactly the same behavior as a ternary operator 
so it, it has uh, it's equally powerful but it's like a small little trick that can that can, that you can use as an alternative okay so thanks for listening to this video if you uh, like this video then um, these videos and these tutorials and check out my uh, Finkster email list where I will give a lot of Python tutorials and um, over time um, you will become a much better Python coder and the, the Finkster email academy is 100% free so join it uh, there's a subscribe link in the description below or anywhere on the website where, wherever you, wa you watch this video okay thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video bye